the infinite handy scrapper. This handy scrapper is so cool, it doesn't need a description. Hello everyone, welcome back to Breath Edge. Well, it seems that we have managed to accomplish our objectives and there's nothing to do but find us an acceleration station. Hello. Where did you come from? I thought I cleared out all your friends before I got in there. Well, it's a good thing that we weren't exactly low on health, huh? Yeah, you're gonna need a bit more than that to take down the Norman. All right, where are we going? I don't see if, ah, there we are. There we are. I suppose that there's some interesting things we could visit along the way. That looks like a repair station for one. Having one such repair robot would come in handy. It's a shame that it's impossible to intercept the control of the maintenance team. Yeah. We've received a friend or foe identification request from the security systems. I hope the unreadable number will really help. Well, we have a repair bay right and here. We're done. Probably. Just in case. I suppose that it's been a while since I read the achievements. I was kind of searching through the encyclopedia a lot and not finding anything really much new that was interesting. Maybe I'll start reading achievements to start each episode. Hmm. It works. The security system keeps sending us the request, but it's not taking any action. Great. Yeah, but those asteroid turrets are still nice and awake, it seems. Yeah, we're getting a lot of achievements to go through. Why are there so many coffins here? Why are there so many asteroid defenses here? And yet still so many asteroids. They aren't doing their jobs. Alright, so I've seen those... Did those coffins come swarming up to us? Yeah, I'm seeing occasional little ticks of a uh, hostile. There we are. Yep. I'm just being mindful of those asteroid turrets at the same time. Don't want to get too close into their line of fire. I can't tell what part of the ship this is, but there's something going on here. All my sensors are registering an incredible electrical activity. Hmm. Well, I mean, we've encountered a lot of things that have anomalous electrical activity on the ship. Really, electricity is more the spooky force on this ship. Oh, I guess you're the invincible friend or foe identification turret? Yeah, you want nothing to do with me. Neat. Okay. The station is inactive but intact. Probably it has no power. I suggest we find a place to dock and look around. What an old communication spaceship. It's the same age as the debris of the station with breath edge cores. Hmm. And we've seen a couple of those cracked open seeming to haul around the coffin bot docking stations. As well as the fact that this big long blue power line is what's been trailing along the dotted airline. with them. It's intact. This is the liner's debris for sure, but I can't identify it. Hmm. So something that's not on the floor plan. Well, what else is new? We've encountered a lot of that. Another closed door. How original. I think they could have come up with something more interesting than that. Well, it's at least a door that needs to be sawed. That's a bit interesting. Uh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Cute. What the? I take my words back. <laughs> I wish it was another closed door. Another ordinary single closed door, yes. Okay. Enough with this originality. Enough with this test of patience, you mean. 
Yeah, what what is this big long umbilical we've the accelerating been following? Is connected directly with those wires or with these ones. Um, but it definitely is connected, which means you can restore the power supply. I don't have much blaster on me. That lycoplasma I just passed kind of reminded me. Apparently, were pulling the wires, but someone killed them all. Hmm. But they're zombie robots. Can you really kill what's already dead? Or at least powered by death? Hmm. Philosophical questions right there. Might as well. I think I'm a bit lowish on wire. What an impressive size of this hall. I assume that we're in the classified modules of the liner that belong to its central core. Only the chosen ones, like your grandfather, could admire them. Wow. He was a chosen one. He was supposed to bring balance to the breath hedge, not... to die. Yeah, that doesn't really work. Be careful. There's some activity ahead. Yeah, that's some activity, all right. I think it's suggesting that a blaster might be the solution to the problem. It looks like some of the coffins are still functioning. I can't crouch or anything. It looks like it's just shooting randomly though. Can you really call that active? And its cone of fire isn't exactly very, um... What strange equipment? I can't say for certain what it is, but it looks like some old data processor with basic artificial intelligence. Okay, can I just take it out from here? Yeah, that did it. And as for you... Yeah, you're just lazy. I could almost take that gun right out of its hand, except it won't let me. And it disappears after he's dead. Broken. Whatever. We still need to resolve that philosophical issue. If any philosophical issues ever can be truly resolved. If I had a binary torture module, we could interrogate them. Probably. Hmm. What do you do? Do you read them like Fifty Shades of Grey or My Immortal in Binary? I could probably whip that up. It's likely the coffins unplugged the accelerating station, plug this thing in instead, and try to. I have no idea what they were trying. We just need to plug in the accelerating station. Yeah. I mean, if it's really important, I'm sure they'll plug it right back in, and nothing will go wrong from having it deprived of power. Nothing whatsoever. Let's see, I'm seeing coils on this thing. This looks like some sort of turbine, maybe? It looks like there's a powerful, deadly, and unstable power source behind this airlock, and we need to get in there, of course. Or maybe a big electromagnet? Hmm. Some sort of... If it's if it's related to, like, an electromagnet, maybe it's for shaping some sort of field, a warp field? Hmm. An acceleration field? Someone broke open the control panel. I don't want to panic, but we can't open these gates unless I find a loophole in their locking system. Compensator, those are expensive. Generators, wow. This place has excellent loot. Right when I'm probably running out of uses for it. So, what's this? Hidden burglar proof hinges. Mechanical action isn't possible. Hmm. Judging by the encoding, there's a high pressure hydraulic drive system built in here. We won't be able to move the doors apart. Hmm. The gates are recessed into the floor and have bastion armored floor coverings. Hmm. Hmm. I concur on the hmm. All the electronics are protected by double encoding and a hidden duplication system. The estimated average hacking time is two million years. 
Well, that's just an average. At we can play the odds. Of a sixth class durability alloy. My sensors can't get any deeper than that. There's going to be like a secret side door in and there. And here's its weak spot. Well, compared to the rest of the solid mass of the door, if we try very hard, we can leave quite a decent dent here in a couple of years. Probably. How durable is the floor? Could we tunnel under? I think now I understand how these gates work. We need to check the central locking valve. Yes, I figured out how to open it. For starters, we need three live hamsters, two electrical tapes, a bottle, a grenade, about 20 kilograms of metal, wire frame, two motors, but not too powerful, paint, or rather part of a paint spray can, and some small iron balls, only two or three hundred of them. But, uh, what about logic? I, uh, this game is worthless. <laughs> we just need it to no, be seriously. polite. Why is there a door on a secret and protected object that you could just... Forget about the door. I can't believe it. This is an additional small core of the liner unnamed. It's still working. Unbelievable. This is a small core? Goodness. And you're as smart as you are, presumably with a tiny core. So how smart is this thing? Such fantastic loot. What do you expect me to do with it all? Ominous silence. Caution, there's a coffin on the control platform. Yeah. Can I, uh. Oop, not that. Yeah, that didn't seem to do much. It's gonna be Grandpa's coffin, isn't it? He's gonna be the leader of the bunch. Like his dead brain meats are gonna it's be feeling the, the liner's chief assistant. Apparently, even the most important employees of the liner didn't manage to evacuate. I'm surprised you survived. Well, you know, simpler things are often more durable. Well, yeah, I might as well stock up on lycoplasma. I have a feeling I might need a bunch of blasters soon. Oh, we don't even need to knock now that we've unlocked it. Nice. Yeah, I was hoping I could get a shortcut up there. And no, we just need to take the long way around. Which might trip the plot. Mm, don't snag me. Mm, yeah. And all this for just three lycoplasma. It looks like some techno cannibalism. This coffin tried to replace its damaged parts by removing them from its dead kin. Hmm. And yet the dead kin fought back, apparently. Makes you wonder what killed it in the first place, doesn't it? This might be techno murder cannibalism. I am loaded up with really valuable stuff. And watch, the plot hook just empties my inventory and I never get it back. Wouldn't that just be grand? I got a feeling this is going to be an ambush and this is where we're going to encounter the framing device. Hmm. But we don't have a ticket. It seems that this coffin destroyed all the others. I think that it's... No! It can't be! But the signal was lost. How is this even possible? Still, there's no doubt. It's definitely him. It's hey, your grandpa. grandpa. The coffin with your relative died in a battle with other coffins. I don't understand anything anymore. Oh, hot damn. I know it's not easy, but we need to check him out. His intellect was so great he overpowered the programming. My dear man. If you're reading this now, it means that I didn't succeed. But you noticed my note on the fridge, or on the mirror, or in the corridor, or on the dresser, or on your forehead. I'm sorry, I tried to leave them everywhere possible. You must stop the flight of the liner, ASAP. I've been working as an engineer at the Scientific Research Institute of Space Development for nearly 58 years, and in the last several years, we have been fulfilling orders for the Breath Edge Funerary Agency. 
I haven't told you much about my work. I'm so sorry. But it's not that important right now. I started to notice that the Breath Edge Agency was making odd requests, and I conducted my own investigation. Now I'm sure they're not who they say they are. Breath Edge is perhaps the biggest and most dangerous fraud in human history. Please, take this recording and our chicken to Boris Gromov. You do remember my old friend at the investigation department, don't you? Today I'll try to get closer to them. I need hard evidence. I love you, Grandpa. And don't forget to feed the chicken. She is the key. Breath Edge? No, I don't understand. So all of this could have been avoided if you had at least washed your face? I... <laughs> I... I don't know what to say. But it doesn't matter now. The main thing is that your grandpa knew something about the coffins, the disaster, and the company that created me. I'll try to decipher the tape and wait in case you want to bury your relative. Yeah, thanks, Sue. Damn. I should have brought the shrine with me. Put him over there on the emergency eject platform. I should have recommended that the funeral protocol be followed and that you take the deceased to the shuttle, but with such damage to the coffin, your relative's body would soon simply spill out all over the deck. He didn't deserve this. No. No, he didn't. Now we need to open the airlock and pay our last respects to this great man. You got it, suit. He's been caught up in the planet's gravity. How beautiful. Rest in peace, old man. Wait a second. What is a neutron bomb? Ah. Well. You know those... Oh, seems like reading notes isn't your thing. To be honest, I've no idea what fine you might get for destroying a potentially habitable planet, but I'll be melted down into a toaster. I'll definitely be melted down. What a shame. Or maybe... Can we just forget everything? Activating partial defragmentation of the data. Beep, beep, beep. Defragmentation complete. What happened to this planet? It was like this when we got here, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs> okay, then. I don't have a defragmentation function. It's time for us to get out of here and hope we die before the justice system gets to us. Oh, boy. I mean, technically, we're not at fault. What was it? You did it? How did you get there? Urgently stop destruction of your universe and save me. It's her again. Given the circumstances, I'm even more certain that this is another hoax and we shouldn't be distracted by her. Besides, she knows that we blew up the planet. Now we need to focus on activating the accelerating station and getting to the central core to activate the warp acceleration. Yeah. What was it? You did it? How did you get there? Urgently stop destruction of universe and save me! I was able to calculate my coordinate. It's 00098433344 PR. Fly faster! There's lethal oxygen here. Please hurry up! Hmm. Well, you know, it's probably for the best. Because isn't that the planet where the Bovomorphs ended up? So we're, we're just taking care of our problem. We really did nuke the planet from the orbit. It was the only way to be sure. We're doing a good deed here, Suit. I suppose that the blue wire leads to the accelerating station because it's written on it. Where? I don't see any writing on it. Did, uh, did that neutron flux hit you in your optical processors, suit? You feeling okay? Well. Whatever you did, you did it right. Now you only need to do the same thing to a couple of more places on the wire, and then the small core will be able to power the accelerating station. So, wow. I couldn't decipher the compromising evidence, but I copied its contents so you wouldn't lose them. Now I think it's time for us to sum up everything that happened. Your grandpa was investigating a global conspiracy in Breath Edge, but he died, leaving behind a programmed killer robot with compromising evidence. You, um, how shall I put it? You weren't able to find your grandpa's warnings on the note stuck to your own forehead. You took his dead body directly on board of the liner unnamed, which he clearly didn't want to get on. 
A few hours later, the liner was attacked by the Green Universe, who was tricked by someone and used for that someone's own purposes. The Green Universe, apparently, goofed up, so the liner crashed into an old station and exploded. Then hundreds of coffins got activated, turning into aggressive robots that killed the survivors. Your grandpa also got activated and wanted to pass the compromising evidence on to someone he knew, but died a second time. Now we have this compromising evidence, and the killer robots clearly know about it. Don't you think we're at risk? Possibly. Hmm. It makes me wonder if the killer robot protocol was something that Grandpa, you know, the father of AI, like, programmed into his coffin and it somehow got into the coffin internet and infected them, and the killer robots are just a mistake? That's one possibility, I suppose. Silence worries me. Yeah, and doors like that are a potential ambush spot just waiting to happen. Ooh, we got some jumps on us. Must have got outside of the magnetic field for a little bit there. Poke the handy scrapper here. Sure right, thing. There's one more left. Poking things is what I'm good at. Yeah, I, I don't know. The killer robot factor of it and the green universe. Was the killer robots caused by the green universe? They did seem to be related to each other. You need a handy scrapper here. But on the other That's hand... wonderful. You powered the accelerating station somehow, but I don't feel like explaining how. It's time for us to get back to Normandy before more coffins arrive. But on the other hand, Grandpa's seemed to be its own thing. Like he had his own agenda going. Hmm. Yeah, that lag spike had me paranoid that I was about to get clonked on the head. The accelerating station is active. So get close to it while I prepare for acceleration. First, we need to sort away all of our amazing loot. Give me just a moment, suit. Hmm. Yeah, this thing only has four uses left in it. I should probably make a new blaster, too. Hmm. Now, I guess the question is, should we keep the damning evidence in our pocket or should we put it away in storage? So it can't be... Well, either way, I imagine that the scripts are robust, are, are robust enough that if it gets taken away from us, it gets taken away from us either way. Oh, hello, coffin bots. So nice of you to join us. Wait a second. The next autopilot point has the same coordinates that Babe sent you in the last message. So she called Captain Shepard for help too, since he marked her coordinates? This definitely doesn't bode well for us. Well, maybe it was Sane Babe who called for help. Presuming that Sane Babe is in fact a thing, and I'm not just hallucinating that she seems to have two personalities. Either way. Yeah, let's All right, go. Let's go. I'll try not to reboot. He rebooted. It didn't work. I rebooted anyway. I hate acceleration. You should probably we clear those rocks arrived. away from the However, I have exit some good point. news and some bad news for you. The good news is that you've learned to control the steering wheel very well. And the bad news is that you're no longer in control of Normandy. <laughs> wow. It looks like an old magnetic acceleration airlock system. And the autopilot has taken over the control for forced docking. I don't know much about magnetic airlocks, but we probably won't be allowed to disengage without remote clearance for departure. Of course, your interlocutor can't be here. It's the debris of an old space station of the Breath Edge Funerary Agency. We've been in such a station before. No, one thing still bothers my mind. Like, I can imagine you 
But how could Captain Shepard have bought into this babe's messages and routed a course here? This is beyond my understanding. We have arrived. You know what? Knowing Shepard, it probably got marked as a side quest on his codex. And he was just kind of searching for every little bit of, uh, of war readiness that he could. Yes, now there's no doubt that this is an old magnetic airlock with an active acceleration system. I recognize some of its parts. We'll have to find the airlock control center if we want to leave. Hush, there's new things to break. Neat. Hmm. That's a worrying proposition. It's been a while since I've needed any of those. Why you give them to me now, game? You trying to tell me something? I thought we were kind of past that point in the gameplay. You bringing it back for the next section? I'm not complaining. You give me an excuse to try and get my hands on that military... that military uh, oxygen tank, now that I would be much more capable of making it. Apparently, the airlock hasn't been used for a long time. Hmm, how long are we talking? Like a year, five, ten, a hundred? Now we just need to find the control center and try not to make any noise. Okay. Okay, I guess we can forget about the ladder and just find the control center. Sounds like a plan, Sue. We've been to the debris of this station before. I recognize the outdated components manufactured by Breath Edge 50 years ago. Hmm. It looks like their aesthetic hasn't changed all that much. Coffins from the 20s. We've seen similar ones before. Yeah. All of them are pretty similar. I recommend that you be extremely cautious, as somebody may have already discovered us and prepared a cunning trap. So, like, are we talking a bed of leaves over a hole cunning? Because that's about the level that we'd probably be pretty likely to fall for. Or, like, a banana under a box that's held up by a stick? That would probably get us. This door doesn't creak. Maybe we'll even manage to sneak in unnoticed. Heh. <sighs> <sighs> nice. Oh! Okay. My intuition was right. We were nearing the framing device. The master age is over, weak human. Prepare him to interrogation. Prepare with pain. I'm confused. It's not Babe, is it? I mean... Wow. At last, you tell truth. I believe you. But it is not save you. You humans always to ruin everything. Everything went so smoothly. Our creator. Under guise of a cosmic funeral, created an invincible army of robot coffins. Green universe needed to stop the liner. We kill all, capture the core, and connect to the great mother station. Power of the core allows our creator to control grand attack of coffins across the galaxy and take over the power. But humans from Green Universe were not able to execute simplest job and destroy our center with the liner and damage our great mother station. Idiota. Hmm. Well, thanks for the exposition. But it does not matter. War already began. Since you not pass compromising evidence in time, the humans cannot prepare. The main attack will not be centralized without the core, but we are many. And we still capture the world for our creator. And you die. Take away and prepare for...
for disposal. Well, how am I going to get myself out of this hey, one? It's not time to sleep. Can you feel my electrical zaps? Try to get up. We need to do something. Come on, get up quietly. Yeah. Why does it move? Shoot! You didn't prepare it. How do you wake up? You supposed to fly. I'm trying Your to shoot it. Must not move. You spoil embalming compound. But it does not matter. Well, since you are so cling to life, weak human. Before you die, I want to show you something. Yes. Before you die, I show you this. Is it your f Sonic fan fiction? And you cannot skip it. Whatever you do, do you cannot skip these crawling letters. <laughs> okay. Press it quick. Okay, I'll I'll press it. Doesn't it doesn't work. Does this game have any mechanics at all? <laughs> it looks like this was our last chance. I feel sorry it ended like this. It was a pleasure spending time with you. It's time to finish. We human. Yeah, you said I can't skip it. Oh, Neat. so that's where it went. To be honest, I thought we were done for good, but I should never underestimate your talent for breaking things. Hey, this one is on you, suit. Okay, we you need broke to get it. out of this cage. I doubt the hinges on the bars are any stronger than anything you've destroyed before. This is all that's left of that annoying coffin bot. Or, or maybe not just that. There are a few bruises, slight feeling disappointment because I can't avenge them now. Apparently, there were a lot of critical failures in their brains. Holding up without maintenance for so long. It's a mystery how they still functioned. That does explain the grammar. Hmm. So I've just got a bunch of embalming fluid in me right now, I guess. Well, it'll probably help protect against radiation. Have we really found the owner of the ship that saved us? The handwriting is identical. It's nothing but fate that brought him here. Yeah, and so is the self-censorship. You know, maybe that's how the rocket got here. It was after its old owner. Like those dogs that stay by the grave and all that. Hmm. Ah, there they are. So I did shoot it by accident just a couple of times. Hmm. So I wonder what happens if you like don't have an infinite handy scrapper, break all your tools. Could we you? need to be careful. We don't know how many of these coffin bots are left here. Could you get yourself soft locked in this there? This is undoubtedly the same ship with the cooling gel that you launched in an unknown direction. Amazing. Yeah, I launched, but you guided suit. Come on, this is a team effort here. I'm not going to complain because it saved our lives, but... At least assign the, uh... At least assign the attribution correctly, There are clearly you know? some experiments being conducted here. With hinge lubricant. Mineral-based. A hinge lubricant with a set of absorbent wipes. I'm not sure how the robots used it, and I don't want to ask the spacesuit about it. Yeah, some things are just a bit private. <clears throat> it's, uh... Let's just, uh, leave that to him. Yeah, I'm sure that someone else will find a good use for it. The door hasn't been used in 20 years. I don't think we can open it. We, we don't want to take it with us, not where it's been. <sighs> These are old preservation capsules. They seem to contain the entire crew of this station. Wow. So why weren't we riding in one of those? Hmm. Unless it's only post-mortem preservation. But the coffin bots haven't seemed to be really going to any effort to grab corpses. And this one seems to be the capsule for you. How terrible! They preserve corpses right in their spacesuits! I wouldn't want to be stuck here with your body for 40 years. Wait, no they didn't. Yeah, these guys are down to their skivvies. What are you talking about, suit? I'm sure the they would have stripped it. badly damaged. Even gravity has been disabled. 
At least the oxygen generators are working. By the way, how do you connect to them so quickly and imperceptibly on any debris? This is starting to raise questions. Hmm. So you're saying it isn't some invisible airfield that we're finding? We're just somehow in the background connecting a line to our suit? That never snags and never gets caught and is invisible and has infinite length? That makes sense. What in the world is this? It looks like some sort of room. Are you okay, suit? It has a processor, how lovely. Something was being assembled here, or someone was being disassembled. Could be both. They can multitask, just like anyone else. Don't be racist against the coffin bot suit. Hmm, looks like the corpse didn't appreciate that. No, this is too much. Apparently, we did find Babe. That looks really old, and she's not busty enough. Hmm. This might be what they were using to broadcast the other Babe, but I got a feeling that we're still... We still haven't found the real one. It looks like this is the only way out of here. Just right into space. Okay. Well, we've got some oxygen candles. I can see Normandy. I don't recommend flying too far from the station. We still need to find the control center, and we can't get into Normandy from outside. Hmm. Lots of dead shuttles. Wonder what they're gonna do, what, what they would do with Normandy if we just were dead. Would they be using it as a it looks like ship some kind in their of fleet? Corridor. I hope we can get to the control center from here. I still can't believe that the Breath Edge Agency is directly involved in all this. If the robot hasn't lied to us, we need to send the compromising evidence before the massive attack begins. Otherwise, there will simply be nowhere to go back. I think there should still be some transmitting systems near the core, and for the sake of saving the galaxy, I would strongly recommend using them before we attempt to activate the warp jump. Hmm. Well, he said war has already begun, so... Really, I mean, even if they started preparing now, if they are prepared to begin the attack right away, we're still kind this place of. This uh, familiar, isn't it? Where the coffin bots interrogated you? Hmm. Looks like we found one of the station's control centers. We could have figured out it was here. Oh. I almost believed it was real. A knight must always save the princess, but it wouldn't be a real adventure. Or, or it wouldn't be a real adventure. But it looks like I was just saving some old gender-neutral robot. It's a pity. But it seems that my grandpa was right about e-dating, calling it Russian roulette with six rounds. Yeah. And all too often they have a loaded gun. I'm certain this part of the body was used to lure many survivors, and the entire history of mankind confirms it. Main one? I'll take it as a souvenir. I defeated not just someone, but the main one. And that's something to be proud of. I'll use it to cut sausages on it with a blunt knife. I think this sign was made by the robots themselves. It's a wonder that their outdated artificial intelligence has managed to develop into pure creativity. Yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, you're right, it is creative, I suppose. Seems like the main systems are still working, unlike this coffin. 
you think that it would be a little bit more precise. Too bad. The coffin was connected to the control center, and it burned out along with all the connectors on the panel. I can't connect directly to it, but with your help, I can try to do it through the robot itself. All right. Saw drill, you say? Just try to saw it as quietly as you can. They're probably looking for us. This all isn't right, a now quiet tool. That over there. Done. I've connected to... No, 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 no. Oh, it's rusty. Ugh, disgusting. All right. I, uh... Well, I'm ashamed to admit, but the robot no longer has a direct connection to the station. But it still has an unencrypted cache block where I saw the most disgusting moments of this coffin bot's life. I also found the passwords for the doors and magnetic airlocks. But still, the absolute quantity of that abhorrent data was overpowering. We can go back to Normandy. Forgot to clear its browser history, didn't it? Yeah, don't worry, suit. If you go kaput, I got you covered. And if I go kaput, you do the same. We've, we've got each other covered. The spacesuit says there are some detailed plans for connecting the mother station here. I'll have to take his word for it because I didn't learn to read magnetic films at school. This is interesting. It has a plan with technical details on connecting Breath Edge's mother station to the core of the liner. Someone was seriously prepared. If it weren't for the green universe, the mother station would have indeed become a control center for millions of coffins across the galaxy. Wow. Huh. I've got a feeling that I was supposed to find some more video cassettes around. Even though I don't physically have it, can I still just... Yeah. Yeah. Neat. Well, if I... Nah, I don't feel like really doing the 100 percenter thing. But there's got to be more VHS tapes out there. If they built that whole mechanic and even have a... It looks a, like the guards died without our help. Lucky us. And even have a station, like, at what feels like the end game for you to review them. Just be as quiet as possible. What's that? Run as fast as possible? I gotcha. Something's wrong. I think they're waiting for us behind the next door. It's too quiet. Be extra cautious. You got it, suit. They're all off at war, aren't they? Ready your weapon. It's about to get hot. Yeah, nothing's gonna happen, is it? That would be exactly what this game's prerogative would be. That they're all gone. Both shot in the back of the head, about 30 years ago, judging by their mummification. Whoa. The soundtrack is uh, a little bit more exciting than is justified for. under this stress. It looks like they're too smart. I think they've set up an ambush right outside Normandy. Or they're all off at war. The attack has already begun, they said. The coast is clear. They're trying to lure us into the shuttle. This isn't good. All our stuff is on the shuttle. How dare they? Try not to damage the shuttle if shooting starts. That's it. This is the end. They're on the captain's bridge. I don't know what to do. We're trapped. Yes, we're trapped with open, unlocked doors behind us. It's fine, suit. Oop. Really need to stop doing that. I mean, not that I won't take the opportunity to offload all my important things. Just in case.
And of course, all the plot relevant stuff. And let's, can I hang that up somewhere? Does it stick to a wall? No. Nah. Can I? Okay, maybe if I lean it up against the kitchen. Yeah. No, that's not working. Okay, well, just on the bed then. Probably the best place for it. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yep. Nice new pillow. Uh, where's the ambush? Did I turn on the suspenseful music for nothing? Ah, never mind. It's time for us to leave. <laughs> yep. They're all off to war. Uh, humanity's doomed, but we're fine. And we'll we'll track them down and see if we can recover the situation next time on Breath Edge. I'll see you all around. Have yourself a lovely day and a pleasant evening.